Hey guys, so custom ROMs are cool, but what if you want more than that? Or what if you don't have a custom ROM and still want to be able to customize your existing ROM? Luckily, some guys over at XDA Developers have some really interesting things and somebody put them all together into a really interesting installer. I've never seen this kind of installer before. I think you'll like it. Let's go pimp your ROM. So what I've done is I've headed out to XDA Developers and I've downloaded this package. It's in a .zip, which is just like a, uh, a custom ROM, but it's not. You don't have to have a custom ROM. You do, however, have to have a custom recovery image like Clockwork Mod, which we talked about a couple days ago in the Android Power User. So if you haven't got that, you'll want to go ahead and do it. Now this package is called Pimp Your ROM or Pimp My ROM. I forget which. It says Pimp Your ROM here, but Pimp My ROM comes to mind. It's version 1.5 from October 3rd, so not that old. It's actually version 1.51 according to the uh, the download link that I followed. What I've done is I've rebooted into recovery mode and I've flashed this. It's about 130 meg, so not small. As soon as that was done flashing, it didn't reboot. Instead, it launched into this installer. So let's go ahead and hit next to continue with the installation. Gives me some terms of use, essentially saying if you brick it, not this guy's fault. It does require an Android device, a custom recovery, and a brain. Um, oh, okay. That was a brain joke, you see that? Okay, I agree. Next. And it says, please tick this only the first time you pimp your current ROM. Well, this is my first time, so let's go ahead and do that. The reason being, they're going to back up your original build.prop file. That's a property file, by the way has a whole bunch of uh, variables and uh, their values. Don't tick that if you've already pimped your current ROM because then it's going to be backing up a, uh, a not an original build.prop file, which if you ever want to go back would be bad. Okay, what version of Android am I currently using? Well, it's asking me an AOSP based ROM or a stock ROM. I am running an AOSP Jelly Bean CyanogenMod 10 nightly, so I'll select that little uh, selector mark next to it and I'll say next. What tweaks do I want to install? This is where it starts to get really fun. Do I want to install all tweaks? That sounds kind of dangerous to me so let's go through them individually. You can see we've got a long scroll list here. Internet speed tweaks. Speed is always good on the internet. Battery consumption tweaks. I hope this means it's going to help save battery consumption not consume more. So let's go ahead and say yes. Miscellaneous kernel tweaks. Absolutely. Scroll up, on-demand governor tweaks. Sure, this helps with your overclocking, underclocking, dynamic clocking and whatnot. It's not really over or under, some people say that it is. It's just dynamically adjusting the speed of your processor. Dalvik VM tweaks, again, another topic that we covered in Android Power User. If you haven't watched it, go back and do that. I'll have a link to the whole series at the end of this video for you. Now, all of these changes I might add are happening in the init.d file. Do we want to defrag all of our uh, SQLite 3 databases? Yes, that'll make anything that accesses the databases faster. Disable logger. I never submit logs anyway. I just live with them, so I'm going to disable that. Disable normalize sleeper. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to leave it off. Use strict min free handlers. Uh, again, no idea. Non rotational flags blocks. I don't know. Improve EXT4 file systems performance. Okay, that's always good. Force GPU 2D rendering. I have a couple apps that I use that this does not work on, so I'm going to leave that off. Miscellaneous RAM tweaks on. Improve multitasking on. Add SQLite tweaks on. Add experimental tweaks. Hey, that'll be fun. Uh, I have backed up my entire ROM before this, by the way. Install various init D smoothness tweaks. Smooth is better. Enable external SD card I.O. tweaks. I don't have an external SD card. Unfortunately, Google. Gosh. Use ad block hosts. No, you know what? I'm a web developer. Web developers get paid by looking at ads when their customers look at ads. So I'll leave that on. Zip align APKs at each boot. On. If you don't know what that is, again, Android power user. Enable main Thunderbolt. I have no idea, but that sounds awesome. Tweak CPU and GPU tuning, yep. 
Use CFS tweaks. Uh, sure. I think I, okay. I almost hit the back button there. Use TCP buffers tweaks. This is internet stuff. Yes. Optimize SQL 3 or SQL Lite 3 databases on. All right. And we're done with the init D. We'll go next. Build.prop. Install all tweaks. I don't know. I want to go through them one by one. 3G signal and speed tweaks. Yes. Battery saving tweaks. Yes. Camera quality tweaks. Yes. Uh, I do have a front facing camera. Maybe it'll work for that. Wi Fi tweaks to connect and disconnect faster. Yes. Dalek RAM tweaks. Yes. Deeper sleep to save more battery when in sleep. Ooh, that sounds fun. Dialing time tweaks. I don't have a dialer, it's a tablet. Increase JPEG images quality. Sure. I believe that's when you're taking pictures. Could be wrong. Disable kernel, kernel error checking. Um, no, I, I wanna know when I'm getting errors. Lock launcher in memory. Absolutely, yes. That way it doesn't have to reload the launcher like other apps if you come back to it after a while. More internet speed tweaks. Touch screen tweaks. Remove black screen after calling. Again, not a phone. Allow purgeable assets. Yep. Scrolling tweaks and video streaming tweaks. And that's all for the, uh, the build.prop it looks like. Next. Enable disable functionalities. Do we want to allow Dalvik to use JIT? Absolutely. Again, don't know what that is. Android power user. Enable hardware, uh, video hardware acceleration. Yep. Disable boot animation. No, although that would make it boot faster. Enable surface dithering. Better images at the quality of, or cost of uh, performance. No. Enable HS UPA network mode. No, I don't have an HS UPA radio in here. Disable ADB debugging icon, I don't care. Disable volume wake, I don't care. Disable sending of usage data, sure, that'll save me some time and speed. Uh, button backlit always on, I don't really have any buttons. And enable 16-bit transparency, but that might degrade performance, so let's leave that alone. Extra apps, do I wanna install Apex Launcher or Nova Launcher? No, I'm, I'm kinda happy with uh, Trebuchet. Miscellaneous apps. Do I want to install any of these? I'm going to go ahead and install ROM Toolbox. No, you know, I won't do that. If I want Adobe Flash Player, I can do that here on Jelly Bean. Uh, script Manager, that's useful for running scripts. Uh, Hulu Plus, that sounds fun in, uh, let's do it in Landscape. And then Smart Stay EX, that's very much like the uh, Smart Stay that comes with the Samsung Galaxy S3. So let's go ahead and try that. Next, any themes? I'm going to install all of these themes just because I'm a theme junkie. Add open VPN support. Don't ever use VPN. I, I don't. You might. If you do, choose that. Beats audio. Absolutely. That's just a digital signal, signal processor. Install adrenaline boost script. Yep. Sony Walkman. Hey, that sounds kind of fun. S voice. Uh, no, thank you. And touch whiz UX launcher and wiz widgets. Nope. Not for me. It says I'm all ready to begin. Press install now to start. And if I wanted to go back and review some things, I could. After about a minute, I get this message that says, pimp my ROM is checking if all the pimping went right. Please stand by. It unmounts data and system and says finished. Enjoy your freshly pimped ROM. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that. It asks if I want to reboot now, which I suppose if I didn't check that, it would just take me back to uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Don't know what that is. Go watch. Yep, Android power user. A lot of the things that Pimp My ROM does happens behind the scenes, but there are some things in here that are not. For example, I've got this new awesome Beats DSP manager, so I can set a uh, just a digital signal processor with an equalizer for my headset, my speaker, or Bluetooth audio. Very cool. Coming back in here, I've got a couple other things. For example, Hulu Plus. Again, I installed the uh, landscape version. I don't have a Hulu Plus account, so I really can't show you much, but there's the app. It's right there on my device. Really kind of cool. If we keep looking, we've got a couple other things, I believe. Yep, right over here we have Sony Walkman. And I don't have any music, and it's uh, kind of confused between my layout mode. Let me see if I can switch it. So here's the app. 
I don't have any music on here that I can show you. No tracks, nothing. A couple playlists, but apparently nothing in them. But there's the uh, the Sony Walkman app. Everything else that it does is behind the scenes. It's all in settings. So now it's your turn. Head over to pocketnow.com. Leave a comment on this article about what you see as being the most advantageous tweak that Pimp My Rom does. Is this something that you're going to do? We, of course, want to know that as well. And I know you're going to want to know where to download this awesome tool. For that, head over to pocketnow.com. We'll have it down at the bottom of the article. For Pocket Now, showing off really, really cool installation scripts and, well, 70s terminology. I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.